Hey there, guys, guys, this is MJ from Reacting Pion. Welcome back to our Let's Play series of Mountain Blade Warband, The Red Wars. And in our last episode, we were able to join the Republic of the Nords as a mercenary. And in time, we will become their vassal and then overthrow them and bring true communism to the world, of course, because our communism is the best. And we will get that right to rule eventually as well. Um, so. This, everything is looking good. We have a few dudes to upgrade. Well, just once. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Let's actually see if there could be a ransom broke inside this town. Are you the ransom? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Um, I'll, I do want to see if I can actually go buy some industry in this place. And it might be around here. Yeah, I'm not sure what the best industry for these, well, this place is. Uh, because there is like, oh, this is the best place, and then this one is the best place, d just for different things. Um, but I'm not sure where exactly the best place for this one is. And I think we need to find the guild master. I haven't done this yet, because I, ju I haven't. I've never got into it. But apparently there's a guild master, and if we don't find the guild master, then that's unfortunate. And I really don't think the guild master is in the mayor's place. I'm not sure, but it might be, might be. But if not, if we don't find the dude in the mayor's place, then we'll just leave it there. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like we did. These are probably yeah, other noble ladies, which we can marry to gain the right rule. So this is Prince Vadim the Bastard. Um, and just let us introduce ourselves. Some men call me the Bastard if I am Tsar of the Vegas. But by all rights, I should be the Tsar um, instead of the revolutionary dictator scumbag. Iosef. Oh, by the way, Ios it's Iosef. That is Georgian for Joseph. So that that's reference to Joseph Stalin. And it says Iosef, the, uh, what you call it, the steel. The man of steel. I think it's the man of steel. Um, but yes, so this dude apparently has an actual true right. Oh, okay, so... Oh, I understand. So this would be Tsar, you, you could say. It is Tsar Nicholas II. You could say that. And... Obviously, the Republic of the Nords and the Vega, that place must have split somehow. Well, overthrew. So this dude was overthrown. So I thought the United Federation of the Vegas was ruled by Iosef uh, the Steel. Okay, the Steel Man, yeah. Um, my father died when I was... Okay, so this is actually Alexei then. This would be Alexei Romanov. So my father died when I was young, leaving me in the care of his brother, the Regent Buralek. But rather than hold the throne until I came of age, this usurper used his newfound power to accuse my mother of adultery and to claim that I was not my father's son. She was executed for treason and I was declared a bastard. Okay. I was smuggled abroad by a faithful servant, but now I am of age and have returned to reclaim what is rightfully mine. Berlega died soon after his act of perfidy and the mo the judgment of he even no doubt his son Yuroglek, um now calls himself dictator. But as his claim is tainted, he is no less a usurper than his father. I will topple him from his throne okay well um why not why not are you sure you will be up to the task Mikhail Petrov reclaiming the throne will be no simple matter the lords of our realm have sworn oaths of homage to Iosef the steel a man such as to a usurper of course invalid and we can expect some of the lords to side with it but it will be a very tough and challenging show okay so we could actually join him oh yes I think this could be cool so what will happen is we'll help him overthrow, we could say, the fake communist, the non-true to the cause communist. Uh, yeah, we, we could say that. And we are helping this dude who has at least the less of two evils of communism up to the throne, which we will then go and overthrow. So I am ready for the struggle. Why not? I have no doubt that your support for my cause is hard for Mikhail Petrov, and I am grateful to you for it. But I don't think we have much of a chance of success. If you can gain renown in the battlefield, make a name for yourself as a great commander, then our friends would not hesitate to join our cause, and our enemies would be wary to take up arms against us. When that time comes, I shall come with you gladly, but until that time, I will be wise enough to only challenge the usurper, I serve the steel one. Okay, so... We just have to generate some more renown. Okay, so that is good to know. And I think what we'll be doing is just pretty much patrolling. Or maybe actually heading into the Kurjit's land. Um, yeah, maybe raiding. No, but then if we raid some of the stuff, we lose honor. And I, I'm not a man that wants to lose honor. I want to be an honorable communist. I don't want to 
like take out my political opponents you know a bit of gunshots to the heads missing people type stuff you know treason i'm sure you get what i mean like joseph stalin if any of you know history uh, that is what happened he, he pretty much killed anybody who opposed him um so yeah let's head to their land the gazoots land there we are on our way and i think it was a good choice that we did go and pick up spotting um okay so that place did get raided let's see if we can find some of their vassals i'm sure their vassals are probably like chocker full with a large months of troops and that's something that i'm a bit worried about but here we are heading into the arab well yeah it's partially now see we don't really need to head into the arab land oh oh, oh hello there you are a, a dude of semi good strength and i don't want to check no that's just support so this dude only actually has 60. could we actually somehow bait him yes we could ah no we can't okay so let's just see if we could possibly is he gonna try and run no no let's see i don't know how we're gonna do this we could raid some of the caravans disrupting their trade and i think that might be but that is the confederate states of Bolivia. that's pretty much communist america right there it's communist america can we please yes yes we did it oh my word Zangwe and whatever um, your fame runs before you, Michael Petrov. Chairman Hugo may have fallen for your tricks, but if you find me, you'll find me a much more slippery foe. And we will go and challenge him. We'll fight him to the end. And was that say hand? No. We will go. Against the 60. So we I would say we kind of evenly match. I actually dig these places quite I dig the desert lands. This is cool. I don't want to get trapped behind my troops, sir. I'm not sure where they just. I think I might want to wait a bit. Because our dudes will open fire on them. They're coming up upon the ridge and we can just stay on our horse. And again, we just knocked them out. So if we do succeed in this battle, we, we will. We will succeed in this battle. Then what will happen is we will be able to set him free and gain some honor. No, I don't want to fire the bullet. Are the rest of his troops going to come? Yeah, they are. They're just extremely slow, but they're coming over the hill. Then. I don't think we actually need to keep firing. Our dudes are fantastic. We might just take a few pot shots here and try and get some, well, increase our profession, which is in fact it is increasing. So this could be one of the battles that decides, well, it's, it's just going to boost up our profession. This is flipping, is improving. Oh, this is very good. Thank you very much. I'm just kind of scared about what will happen is if they throw their grenades. Like, I, it sucks when they throw grenades. I do, well, they are getting closer and then we are wrecking them. See this? We are... We are elite troops. That's what we... We are truly elite troops. Let's see if we can possibly sniper that dude all the way there. Okay, now he just got peppered. Can we get a shot here? No, no, he's, he's done for. Okay, more troops. So they've got reinforcements that are on their way. Um, are we going to wait a bit? I think they'll come over the hill soon. And we will be able to pop up some more shots against them, which will be fantastic, improving our proficiency. Um, I think we will. I think we should dismount off of our horse and get behind our troops here. And let's see. Can we get a good spot? And we can. And let's hopefully let's let's get our proficiency up. And we haven't hit one of them. That that is surprising. But when we do get to a good amount of proficiency. Eventually, it will just become easy as pie because we will just be able to hit them with no problem at all. I have reached 500 proficiency um, on my separate save, and it took it seriously took a ton of time. But the chances you just get a, a slight bit of high ground, and you never miss. You, you just an absolute dominator. You, you feel like you're a Finnish sniper in the Winter Wars against the Soviets. Like get raking up like 140 kills or something in one battle, and you just rake in the experience. Well. And it's just oh no 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 fire shoot him down quick with body throw a grenade. Can we get a shot? No no it doesn't look like it. I think we will have to go and improve our proficiency. It just will happen over time. Did we have we won? 
No, they just send a bit more dudes. Okay, I think let's go hop on our horse here. And we're gonna take a bit of a ride up to them and take them out. Oh. Yeah, I find it very fun. It's just strange that our bullets just go everywhere. Yeah, well we ride we are right behind them. We might just follow a bit more shots against them. Okay, as you guys can see, they did get hit. And handgun this stuff now. Oh yes. Not hit at all. So much swag. Yes. There we go. Let's charge with our gun. Looking like never mind. He's dead. But we won! We succeeded! And that is what really counts. We should be able to take this dude as our prisoner. He shouldn't have escaped. We knocked him unconscious. But yet he still escapes. Well, if that if it wills it, then it will be done. Um, there we go, so let's go and actually re well, get a lot more, in terms of these carbines, oh yes, what, who knew war could be so profitable, this is fantastic, oh yes, thank you so much, pro, oh, honestly that looks so sick, oh my flip, what the hell, Fudi so, I'm sorry, we, we're gonna be that, that beast, I'm sorry, why can I not equip this? You said, "Oh my flip!" You, it takes up the gloves. You serious? I can't find the gloves, but that is so much better. Tattered gas mask with gloves. Plus forty-seven to hit. Uh, never mind. Just. Oh wait, we can actually go and grab ourselves a good pair of boots here. Now I don't want to get strange boots. This looks actually pretty good. I think they'll suit us quite well. And we did go and equip it, so we can. Go and take that back. Okay, so that is looking quite good there. We're not going to siege this. We don't have an engineer and if effectively that just makes it impossible. We could go back to go and sell our stuff, but I think we need to go and level up our dudes here. 19 levels there. We will just continue to level up the Soviet dudes because um, they're there and we're just going to leave them there. Eventually, I'm sure they will die and then we just won't recruit anymore since we are now a mercenary and will in time become a vassal of the Nords. Okay, so you and our dude is on his way. Day's training is complete. We're we giving them barely any experience. We What would be good if we had a dude that was fantastic in terms of his trainer skill? That would be awesome. I think we, we're going to have quite a few companions. Um, and how we're going to work with that is we're just going to pretty much dedicate them to certain professor and just level that up. Because again, with this mod, strength and stuff, it's it's not really necessary. And we and again, we do get some weapon proficiency points with them. So we can just put that in there. And we don't need to level anything else because none of the actual points help them with shooting. So we can um, d dedicate them in a speciality to help us out. Okay, so let's go to the marketplace. What arms? Okay, you don't have much. Large, okay, that's for the machine guns. Um, Swede and sniper. The one thing with the sniper rifles, they take forever. And this is what I expect them to 10 strength for. And it sucks. It absolutely sucks. So if any of you are thinking of getting that, don't. Just please don't. It's a total way. Large bag of artillery strike. Not necessary. I, I found that I, in my other save, my other playthrough, my own personal one, I actually end up killing myself with grenades. So it's, it's not good. I, I don't want to kill myself. Definitely not with the grenades. Um, they'll just pay whatever. Well... No, that Albion thing, that looks so professional. Oh, that really does look professional. But we've got our awesome looking member of the Soviet party. Um, top coat, coat, coat it is. And yeah, let's see, horse merchant is not much. I'm sure we can sell another one. Yes, we can. The goods merchant. Okay, so the good merchant does have quite a bit. Okay, this is fantastic because we will be able to sell quite a bit to them. Okay. And in fact, we were able to sell everything. So that is awesome. Okay, so how much cash do we actually... We have so much cash. It's awesome. Um, there we go. And we'll just spec our dude into that. Level him up there. So I think we're going to continue to head back into their land. The Khajiit's land. 
And I don't think, like, with our current level and our set of dudes, I don't think we really need to worry about, rip, like, just bandits coming along. I don't think it's... I don't think that we have to worry about them. Because I think at this point they're just too scared to attack us. What we do need to worry about is these vassals. I'm a bit worried. Okay. If we can not find one of their caravans, it would be fantastic to go and actually raid them. I'm not sure if that's exactly honorable. And there we go, 82. Oh no, they actually got close. And there they are. Oh, flip, run. Was this? Truce has expired. Let's get out of there. Not good. And then we don't want to go and take out this village farmers. It's not very honorable. This dude, this 38, he knows we were coming for him. And they've all ganged up there. I'm not digging that at all. Maybe if we go a bit close to this fort, maybe there's a dude waiting there. Okay. No. No. No dude waiting there. They're all there though. Maybe if I just wait for a bit, they might come along. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, flip. Run. Run, my friend. You can run. Okay. I know. I find it's very hard to actually try and catch one of them. Because they're all quite ganged together. And this... I can't believe this dude. How, how big? 83. Chairman Z. I think this is the big dude. The big dude up top. And he actually came at us. Okay, so this will be it. We'll fight till the end. And we're in this nice area. Let's actually set our dudes right up here. Get them to stop. How big is this? Oh, flip. This map is big. Okay, let's set them up closer there. They'll just go and move up. And they are actually firing. What exactly are the dude? I can't see them. Oh, this dude here. It's probably the chairman. Stop. I can't believe we shot him. We actually shot the dude. And we shot that. Oh my, our skill is increasing. Okay, I think just wait here. Wait here, real line dudes. And that mask, we like prepped up nuclear war, all that type of stuff. Let's see, try and increase our profession. There we go, come on, pop off some shots there. On a horseback, like a beast. Come on, let's rake up these points. And that proficiency, get it up there. Our dudes are just mowing them down. So this is, this is why you have to have your dudes set up and prepared. Because they'll run, they'll wait a bit, and then you can just open fire. Just imagine line infantry if we look at the past. Napoleonic War, that stuff there. Um, Empire stuff. You guys played Empire Total War with the line infantry. They just line up, and you just would be prepared and just wait for it. And then they come and they run up, and you just fire. Just in line of infantry. Da -da 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 firing at them all. That's pretty much how it is. See, they'll run up and we'll just open the fire and take them all out. Let's see, can we get ourselves a few more shots here to improve our proficiency? Hopefully we can. We're not the most accurate on our horse here. And if we do get some shots, which I, I don't think we are going to get some shots. Um, I, I don't think we are going to... Okay, no, no, we are getting some shots. This is it. And our proficiency is improving. This is what we are looking for. And we're popping some shots. They've got some cavalry here. This isn't good. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I did manage to get a shot there. I'm shooting these dudes. Come on. Can we get a shot there? Can we pop off? And we did that. That is legit. Doesn't matter. And our proficiency continuing to increase. This is legit. We just are rocking it. This is awesome. I'm digging this. There's a huge clot of them there. And we leveled up! That is... It's, it's, it's beautiful. We are leveling up. Let's see if we can take down the... And we managed to do that. Oh, <laughs> I love how we just shot him there. And these dudes that just get so close, we're just like... Nah. Not happening, friend. Just fire these dudes off of their horses. And kill them. Just straight up. Wait. Uh, can we... I don't know why we can't hit them. And they slinging around the side. Oh. Can I not hit him? What? Can I hit you? No? Yes! We won! Yes! 
I don't know. I wonder what our title will be. Emperor sounds good. Cool. Okay, so two of our dudes died and two got wounded, so it's okay. We, we'll let him go. He will like us more, and we will gain some honor. And we can actually go and get some more prisoners, okay? And we got another one of these. Why the flip does that give so much? I don't care one bit. What the? I think we'll actually just change that since this is actually so good. Then what is this? Vark. 45. That's uh, not as good. Okay, let's just go and take up this loot. All of it. This lovely, lovely loot. and It's, it's beautiful. So much cash. We, we're going to be the richest band of mercenaries there is. Do we have... Yeah, we have one more space. Okay. Okay, so let's go take that to a town. I think we're good enough as it is. Um, some of our dudes are ready to level. We'll go and level them up there and get those dudes up. What? I'm um, yet. There we go. And y'all, let's actually go and head back. And I'm sure by the time that we actually do get back, we will. They will have replenished. I'm not sure where our dude is. Is that you? Okay, it is. He's not moving. Okay, that that was a bit strange. Are we now moving? Okay, we are. What has happened here? Are you serious? We have to join this military campaign? Okay. Well, sadly, guys, this is the end of the episode here. Yeah, I hope you all did enjoy it. I certainly did. And if you did enjoy it, please pop down a like. And maybe if you guys have something to say, a comment. It's always nice to see that you guys are commenting. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. It's always nice to be able to know exactly when the next episode is coming out. And that will be it. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.